Hello and jumbo karibu sana to my channel. My name is Sharon aka Wabaraka and if you are new here, karibu sana. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming to this channel. If you are a returning subscriber as well, Karibu Sana! <laughs> welcome back and welcome back to this channel. I keep telling you, you are the reason that I keep coming back to give you more and more content. Now, if you have been watching my videos and you have not subscribed, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there. Subscribe subscribing nibure kabisa please subscribe and get to know more and more information i'll be creating more and more contents thank you for all the support that you have been giving me i am overwhelmed i really don't even have enough words to say thank you for all the support that you have been giving me now i am here with another video as per your request i am here I recently did a video and this is particularly to those people who want to immigrate to the UK to work. I did an, a video which was talking about immigrating to the UK post Brexit and what that meant for you. Now in today's video I'm going to expound on that. I'm going to touch on skilled and unskilled route, what that means and what the government has proposed to do in the new immigration bill. It is a new bill that came into effect in January 2021 when the UK exited Brexit there was a new bill that came into effect which affects workers that want to come to the UK and work so a lot of people have asked me what is a skilled worker what is an unskilled worker if you want to learn more don't go anywhere stay there and I'll give you all that information in the meantime, I'm going to give you just one minute. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and share with all your friends. Then we're going to continue. So let's carry on. The question many of you have is, what is a skilled worker? What is a non-skilled worker? What is the point-based system? What does that mean? Your questions are being answered now. Before I continue, I just want to give a disclaimer here and say that I am not an immigration advisor, neither am I giving immigration advice on this video. I strongly suggest that if you are considering relocating to the UK to work, please seek legal advice from your country of origin because this video is purely based on the information that I know as a UK resident. So don't take it as an immigration advice. So in January 2021, the Home Office, which is headed by a lady called Priti Patel, proposed a new immigration bill which was to scrap immediately the freedom of movement within the EU. So the government proposed a new points-based system which was aimed at rewarding skilled workers. So what that meant is that as of 2021, the government was ending the general visa option which was available to low skilled workers what the government did is reduce the threshold so previously the threshold for people who were immigrating to the uk to come and work and they had a job offer they had to have a requirement of thirty thousand job offer that now has been reduced to twenty five thousand six hundred as the new threshold However, the government is also considering people who are in a job that is considered as a low skilled or shortage job occupation in the, in the UK, which meant that although you could still be earning less than 25,600, if you are a worker within the shortage list, you could still be eligible. I said in the previous video that the government proposed a list of employers that are eligible to sponsor you to come to the UK for a job. 
if you do not have a job offer from any of the employers and if you don't know which employer that is go back to the previous video that i did about coming to the uk post brexit on the description link there is a list of the employers that have been proposed by the government and you can only apply to those employers if you don't get a job offer from that employer or those employers that are named and you do not meet the qualification of speaking english unfortunately you may not be eligible to apply for a work visa to come to the uk don't be scared about the english speaking part because if you can hear me you can understand me you can read and write in english maybe that is all you require don't quote me on that to pretty patel because there is a test that you will need to undertake if you are coming from a non-english speaking country so that you can meet that requirement of english speaking as a criteria so what if you earn less than the required threshold and not less than 20,480? you may still be eligible if you have a job offer in the uk in a specified occupation that is known as a shortage list in the uk or if you have a phd relevant job offer from the employers that the government has proposed so what the government or Priti Patel was proposing to do was to bring the very best talent, the best of the best across the globe to come and work in the UK. However, that was met with a lot of criticism from the parties divide and also from people who questioned whether their relatives, their friends would qualify the threshold that was set by the Home Office. Therefore, the question is, what is considered as low skilled job or low skilled worker there isn't there isn't in this new proposed bill there is nothing that constitutes as low skilled worker or low skilled job you have to meet the points based system the 70 points based system and you have to have a job offer from an approved employer that is the requirement in this new bill all applicants that are willing to come and work in the uk will need to meet the threshold of 70 points based system before you can make an application for a job offer within the uk in the new immigration rule so the government has said it's going to define skilled workers as those who can meet a level a level or the scottish higher or technical equivalent education so you could have a, a level skill from your country of origin and still meet the threshold of a skilled worker so giving an example of what a level is for example if you are coming from kenya a level is college level because you go to primary and then you do your your high school which is O level then you go to college that is A level in in the UK system so if you have like a diploma a college diploma you could still be eligible and be termed as a skilled worker as long as you have a job offer from the employers that I have given in the previous video I'm also actually going to leave the employer list in this video if you're not able to go to the previous video i'm going to leave down in the description box the list of employers that the government has approved that you can get a job offer from so if you if you get a job offer from them and you meet the 70 points that the government has proposed that's all you require that's all you need like i said it's still possible to earn less than the threshold that the government has given as long as you're not earning less than 20,480 you could still be eligible to make an application if your employment or if your job falls within the shortage list of the UK that's the other video I'm going to be doing what is within the shortage list of employment and what the government considers as jobs that are low skilled and may not earn you that salary threshold of 25,000 
600. Let me just add here because there was a lot of panic when this when this new immigration bill came into effect a lot of people panicked and they didn't quite understood how this bill is going to work or how it is working and there was a lot of worry that oh now people that are in the uk and they don't meet the threshold they're going to be deported yada 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 and no actually that is not the case what the uk government or pretty patel is proposing to do is to treat people that are coming from a non-eu country treating them equally as people from the eu countries so you know that before the brexit there was a free movement from eu and people coming from an eu country would be eligible to come and work in the uk now after the exit of brexit what pretty patel actually wanted is to treat everybody equally so people that are coming from a non-eu country will be treated the same as people that are coming from an eu country that is a good thing i think as well the uk has always had very high threshold for people wanting to immigrate on skilled employment or to come and and do work here in the uk the previous threshold was thirty thousand, an earning of thirty thousand, and like i said in this video that has been significantly reduced to twenty five thousand six hundred. i think that is a good thing i don't see that as a negative thing the other thing is previously the uk would only allow graduates with a master's level to immigrate to come and do jobs in the uk and now what priti patel has said is that they're reducing or she's reducing that level to a level i think that is a very good thing so if you have an a level and you're from a non-eu country you would be eligible to come to work in the uk as long as you meet the threshold of a job offer from approved employer and you're meeting the salary threshold that the government wants you should be able to get a job to come and work in the uk and also i say if you don't meet that threshold of 25600 but you still you're earning less obviously not less than 20600 and you are within a shortage employment list you could still get a job offer so People like uh, doctors, nurses, engineers, those are shortage occupation lists. I'm going to do a full video of the shortage occupation list that you may be able to know. But those are jobs that you could easily get within the UK if you apply through the approved employer and you will be eligible to come and work in the UK. So for me, I don't see that as a negative thing. I see that as a positive thing. So what if you want to come and study and not work in the uk you will still be eligible students who want to come and study in the uk will need to prove that they meet the eligibility of having an offer from a uk institution a uk approved institution they will have to demonstrate that they can speak english and they will have to demonstrate that they will be able to support themselves during the course of their study so what about freelancers asylum seekers and those who want to come here on a tourist visa let's start with freelancers so freelancers are people like ministers of religion uh, singers musicians those are going to remain the same and possibly it's going to be extended to eu citizens as well visitors which include eu citizens will be eligible to still make an application to come to the uk and they will be eligible for a six month visa however you cannot work on a on, on a visitor's visa if you are coming here as an asylum seeker asylum based application fall outside the points based system and therefore the current rules that are in place are expected to remain the same now let me just add this here and this is not to discourage you but this is to sort of give you a, a warning just in case you find yourself here with a, a job that is offering the the lower threshold of what the uk government has given the the work visa comes with what is called a no recourse to public funds that means you will be eligible to work but you may not be eligible to claim 
the funds now for those who live in the uk you'll understand what public funds are so there are things like if you have um, children you could claim things like child tax credit which is going to support you look after your children you can claim things like housing benefit and many other government related um, public funds now if you're coming as a worker or if you're coming to the uk to work it does not allow you that visa specifically says no recourse to public fund that means if you lose your job you could find yourself destitute in the uk and that can be very very difficult if you have no recourse to public funds it means you have no other source of income you have no other source of support and that can equally be very very difficult so i guess when the government is setting the threshold it is also trying to protect you so you don't come in the uk and end up in a situation where you're destitute financially and you're not able to support yourself i guess if you lose your job uh, with the employer i don't know whether you need to go back to your country of origin or what really happens i cannot give advice on that you may want to speak to your immigration advisor and ask them before you come to the uk what would happen if you were to lose your job and you are already in the uk so that's it for today this video i think i've spoken quite a lot i'm going to do another video somebody else asked me a question of whether when you come to the uk you would need to do a conversion of the money from your country of origin to the uk pounds to know what that threshold means I will do a full video on that and watch out for that next video. Now, until the next video guys, for now, Baraka.